I just want to show you, this is the journal that I made out of the uh, paper that I had bought and I showed in my haul. It was watercolor paper and I told you that I was going to make a, a watercolor uh, journal. And this is the one I made. This is a, a picture that I had done and what I did is I printed it out and then I put it on top of the uh, cover. I took all the pages actually out of that journal and then put them through the cinch because it didn't come like that and then I reused the front cover of it, cut it and then just put this, attach this picture to it and paint it and, and put some jelly paper on here and then uh, colored her even more. I added a butterfly. I mean, just, you know, some washi tape on it just to make it kind of funky, the color. And this is going to be where I mostly start projects in watercolor. I mean, and then add to it. But I thought, nice, it's nice watercolor paper. And if you saw that haul, um, it was a nice little on sale pack of, um, you know, a pad of watercolor paper, nice and heavy. So that's what I did in the back. Same thing, I kept the back and, you know, just turned it into a, you know, a, with a, whatever these are called, spirals, I guess. And it's just a lot easier for me to take with me. So this is where I'm starting some sketches and watercolors and apologize. I start, I'm going to be apologizing through this because I sound very nasal, but I've had the flu. And, um... But I want, you know, you're sick, but you still want to do stuff. So I am working on fabric tags inspired by Josie um, Gito and also trying to, I wanted to start something in my watercolor journal. So that's what this is. This is just a quick watercolor girl. And uh, I add other elements in there and use some other products besides, um, well, use other mediums besides watercolor. So I hope you enjoy and uh, let's get inside. Thank you so much for being here. So I decided to just do this quick little watercolor. I sketched her out quickly and just wanted to do something like to do in the first something in the watercolor journal that I plan on taking around with me. So, but I will add other mediums in here. So I'm not going to just stick with watercolor. I, I Maybe some of them will, but I like to start with it. And then I'll probably add other things in here too. Um, so, but this one, you know, just was playing around with a bunch of different colors. Wasn't really uh, thinking about much. Just wanted to just put a lot of colors down. You know, you feel like that sometimes. And it's good to have some journals where you can just mess around in. And so that's that's what I'm doing here. And I took some Nuance uh, colors out. The Nuance Magenta, the powdered, but I wound up I didn't use them anyway. Oh, and then I did use some Koi. You can see there's my Koi. I went back and forth and um, I did use some of the Koi watercolors, but mostly the, that Canson. You've seen me use this before. It's the cheap set that I had gotten from Jerry's. Uh, I had bought one set for my granddaughter, Mackenzie, and one for myself. And this is years ago, so it, they've been around a while. But I like the colors, and they were inexpensive, and they're great to play with. I will put the link at the end of this video to the haul video that I did, so you can see the uh, original paper pad that I use to turn into this journal. Okay, so if you haven't seen it already, I'll put it at the end of the video and then in the description. just uh, using my color pencils, the Prismacolor pencils, and just 
putting in some more colors, you know, trying to darken some of the colors and just doing basically the same thing as I did with the watercolors, just adding colors and just um, not really worrying about anything. I just wanted to see how it, she comes out. You know, I'm not, this wasn't anything that really took a lot of, um, not a lot of time or a lot of thought. So it, it was just really just to relax and get something into the book. Just get the first page done, right? Sometimes it's hard to just get that first page going, you know, in your journal. So this will break the ice and I'll have something so that when I open it, I'll have some color and she'll be in there and she's on my first page. So actually the second page, uh, I never really do anything on the first, first page. So, and just adding all my colors. So now I decided to go at it with some stencils and some gelato. So that's what I'm doing, just adding more color, more depth, more interest with the gelatos. And I'm just smearing them on full. I didn't, you know, put water with them. So, um, yeah, they're pretty, pretty thick. For now anyway I added some purple and I think it's good um, I enjoy doing this uh, and I'm gonna get back to my tags but in the meantime whoops I have so many things around and I apologize if I look messy if I'm trying to make it so you don't see it all when I do the video so you don't see what's the mass of stuff around me and I'm also working on another bowl actually it's a platter it's not a bowl so that'll be fun too I'll have that out soon I hope and um, sorry I didn't get to do a live on Tuesday but I was so sick that there was no way that I could do a live stream on YouTube I'm gonna try for next Tuesday so hopefully today is Friday so on uh, I'm I think it's the second June 2nd so hopefully by Tuesday I'll have the stamina enough to stay it's just that I just get tired so um, it just I go for a little bit maybe half an hour and then I've got to go rest and I haven't had the flu in I don't know 30 years so I thought it was I really thought it was just a sinus thing but then I everybody started getting it in my neighborhood so and my husband now has it so it is definitely the flu but a wicked one so 
uh, hopefully I will see you Tuesday. Um, I'm going to try and do lives every Tuesday at 2.30. And if I don't show up, then you know that I'm not feeling well because I love doing the lives. I really do. And I will try my best to keep my promise and do them on uh, every Tuesday. If I don't, I'm sorry, but I love you guys anyway, no matter what, I love you, and know that I am blessed to have you, and um, that's just what I feel, so I will see you next time, and stay well, and peace and love, I love you guys, bye-bye.